Hello guys and welcome to a new Unity tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to add UI buttons and make them do something. So what are UI buttons? Simply when you're in a main menu of a game, there's a play button. When you click on it, it goes into the game. This is changing the scenes between one scene and another. So first thing, you have to right click UI button. It's going to automatically create a canvas and event system. The button is going to be in the canvas, so button. let's just make the position of it 0 and 0. Okay, all the action of the button is going to be on click. What this does, when you click it, it's going to do an action. Right now, this is empty, so it does nothing. We have to add a script, and we'll be doing that later. Okay, now let's just change this. Go to page 2. So what we're going to have, we're going to have a scene called page 1, which is going to be this one. Let's just do that right now. Control S, save it, page 1. And we're going to make another scene. Right click create scene, which is going to be called page 2. And so this can be a bit neat. Get the folder scenes, put these two in it. And OK. Now we're going to create a C sharp script. Create C sharp script. Call it navigation. Okay. What we're going to do with this navigation is going to simply load from this lab, this scene, and go to the page two. It's very very simple coding. Only two lines. We do not need this update or start. We're going to start, there are two ways, you can, both of them are by string, public string, let's call it go to page, okay, we're going to write public void, so we can change it, it has to be public, um, go to, and don't forget those two brackets, uh, semi bracket, semi bracket, okay, now, in here, we'll write scene manager. You see, nothing is found, so don't forget you have to add using unity engine dot scene management. Sorry, scene management. Okay, now you see there's no error. Scene manager dot load dot load scene um, have we got something wrong um, uh, wait unity engine dot scene management okay dot load scene and now we have to write the name of the string that we did before go to page and close there semicolon okay now save this and come back to unity it might take a while to compile down here and when that's finished compiling we have to add this script this script to the canvas that we created and let it just compile because it's a new script it might take a bit of time okay the script's finished compiling. Let's go into the canvas and add component, which is going to be our navigation. And you see there's a go to page. You have to go to your scenes folder and write the exact same name for the scene so it can't be wrong, like it'll not go to anywhere when you click it. And paste it here. Okay, now if we click play, it won't do anything. Like, it won't go to any page of the script. We've written the name of our page 2. We've written it. Like, you just say we've written the page. It doesn't do anything. So, what we have to do in our button, we go down on, on click. What It says no object. You drag the canvas into here. And when you go into the function, you have a navigation. Go to. Okay, in here, as we said, we've written go to page 2, which is 
It doesn't have to be page two. It just has to be the name of your scene. Okay. But it still won't do anything because you have to go to file, build settings, and you have to add both of these scenes. There's one and there's two. Okay. Now we're done here. And we come back to here. Let's okay. Now we're going to click play and see what it does. Okay. It should, this button should disappear because we have the same color background in the page 2. It should easily just go to page 2. And it doesn't do anything. Why? Because in our canvas, when you've written this page 2, okay, it goes to page 2. Button, you've written it. No function. Because we added this scene, the function goes away. So you have to add go to. It's going to be the canvas, and the canvas has the page 2 here. You have to make sure that this, you've given it a function. Okay, let's stop running it now. And it should go to the other scene. And let us get blue. Okay. There we go. It went to page 2. Now, let's just make a page 2 so we can go back and mm, save. In our page 2, we'll add UI button again. And it doesn't matter what it's called, we'll just call it go to page 1. And you don't have to write the code all again for this. Just go to the canvas, add the same navigation button. All you have to do, go to page 1. I know the writing's right. Okay, you just have to write the other scene that you want it to go back to. And in our button, on click, get the canvas into here. And in the function, so, okay. In the function, do the same as the other one, go to. What's the difference between these two? On the canvas, in here you've written page 1, and on the other, you've written page 2. And now let's run it, see if it works. And let it compile. And let's click, go to page 1. Um, what's going to be the difference? There. That's simply it. There's nothing else to it. That's it. Thank you for watching this video. And we'll be back for more tutorial of Unity.